Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster, and welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I'm going to talk about experiences, and this is an actual account of a friend of mine who, he was going on a hot air balloon ride with his family, his wife and his two daughters, and he brought along his little Nikon point-and-shoot camera, but it doesn't have a viewfinder, and he said the whole experience of photographing them was just sort of aiming it and not having any sense of what he was getting. And he was literally spraying and praying. And he hated the photographs. He felt like he didn't shoot anything that was what he really wanted. Cut to a week or two later, and he's going to Chicago for a family uh, vacation and family uh, trip to see family. And he says, maybe I should take my film camera. And I said, I think you should take your film camera and load it up with some black and white and shoot family pictures, but also you'll have some control over what you're doing. And so he did that. He got some HP5 and some FP4 Ilford film and loaded up his old Canon FTB, which isn't like a high-end camera. You can probably pick one up for 20 bucks. And he went and he said the experience of it was so incredible. He has a a multicolored 70s style camera strap on it and he said a Russian couple came up to him at a jazz concert he went to see and they said hey that must be a film camera and he ended up having this camera and this camera strap lead him into a 20 minute discussion to meet them and then he photographed them outside at night and he said it was just so much fun to have somebody connect to the fact that it was an old film camera and they were photographers and they recognized it. He also had the jazz band contact him and say, hey, would you photograph our band? We'd like to have something on black and white film. And they paid him, which is an oddball thing to have happen. And then he went and he shot his family and he just said that it was the most satisfying thing to look through the viewfinder and to actually connect with what he was photographing. He could compose things and he could see what he was getting. And I'm sure you could say, well, we could do that with a digital SLR and you could, but his whole thing was even a digital SLR, a lot of people spray and pray. And he wasn't doing that. He was shooting a frame or two of different family members, different groups of family members, different places that he went and it was it was an interesting thing because we hear a lot about how people who like film photography like it because it slows us down but he was giving you a real or he was giving me through a text a real eye-opening commentary on how having that control was so important and it meant so much and it felt like real photography not just aiming the camera and hoping a lot and I think that's the difference between film photography and conscious photography versus the phone photography and the, the, it's not really photography to me. A lot of the work that I see people posting online, it's almost like the photography world has become, there's a very small number of pros and there is a glut, which there always has been, whether it was Instamatics or whether it was Brownie cameras, there's a glut of average mediocre family pictures and family photographers and they're shooting pictures and they're putting them on Facebook and those photographs have a lifespan of this long and they're really only that made to exist for the 10 minutes that people are seeing it at the top of their feed and then they kind of go away we don't have what we used to have where we took photographs and we made prints and we put them in our homes and we got to experience them and live with them and I encourage you to print your photos but that's one of those things that's changed now a lot of people are shooting for a like and I don't have a whole lot of interest in doing that I want to make better photographs than just what is created for a like but I, I love the idea that we can you know continue to pursue film photography and we know what a special look it has what a special treat it is to work with the cameras and 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 thankfully we do and thankfully those cameras are inexpensive right now and we can use them and it's it's a, a great time it's like a prime time to be shooting as a film photographer so that's today's talk 
I hope you find it inspiring. And if you like them, hit the subscribe button and I'll bring you more. Thank you so much.